So now let's talk about how you're going to turn off the Waze app on the iPhone and let's get started. Because as you can see currently in the top of the screen, I have this little blue arrow which is indicating that something GPS related is going on. And you can see that when I open it up, the map or like the Waze app is active. So in case I want to turn it off, there are a few options. Of course, the first one is to simply uh, swipe up from this like bottom portion right there. And, you know, you can see the stop button will appear. So you have the ability to stop the navigation. Now it's going to stop it when I return back. You can see that it still can't access my location, but the instructions or navigation has been terminated. Outside of that, of course, you can use the regular gesture to go to the multitasking panel and swipe up on it, meaning that there is no longer the blue arrow and the app is now closed in the background. So this would technically mean that the app is turned off. But outside of that, there are more settings which you can explore. If you open up the settings app, at the bottom you have the apps section. And from the apps, just make sure you pick and find the ways. So it's right here. And there are some things, for example, background app refresh. If you don't want the app to be active in the background, you can turn it off. And this could also mean that you are turning off the Waze app, right? So as I say, it depends on what exactly you mean by this. You also have the location services, which you can choose always or only while using the app, which I actually prefer it this way. Obviously, always gives the app 24-7 access to your location, which might be useful, but Usually, I like to keep my apps only while using the app and give them location access only in this situation, right? You also have the cellular data and stuff like this. Obviously, notifications are very important because if you want to turn it off completely, perhaps you don't want to be interrupted by some random notifications. So, yeah, these are all of the things which you might have in mind whenever you want to turn off the Waze app. Let me know below in the comments if you managed to do what you wanted to do. Thanks a lot for watching and stick until the end and I'll catch you later.